met my daughter Amelia Clark and I set up in 2019. Uh, we set it up because of our own personal lived experience with brain injury. My daughter had um, two brain aneurysms and she is now completely fine, but it has been a long journey. And when we started the charity, we asked for other people's stories and we were overwhelmed by the intensity and the volume of the stories that we received. Rather than developing services ourselves, we want to work with global partners who are the best at what they do. We see that the future for brain injury and stroke recovery is to introduce holistic care. And that means that when you have a brain injury, it's not just your brain that's injured, but it's your whole body, your whole person. And so we see it as, uh, in layman's terms, of talking about brain, body and mind together because it's only when those three things come together with the right and appropriate treatments in a personalised pathway can healing really take place. When Amelia and I met Visionable we became very excited at the possibility that by working together we were able to reach a huge amount of people to change the trajectory of their recovery. We see that we've got shared values, we see that we've got shared principles and we believe that by putting the patient and the survivor at the heart of what we do we will be able to meet the needs of both the patient and the healthcare professional and actually fill in a gap. So we started Visionable myself and Victor five years ago with a view of, we realised how important digital technology was going to become to healthcare. But we wanted to create a healthcare company that had the fabric of a healthcare organisation weaved into it, so it just didn't become technology. And what we wanted to create was a technology that actually enhanced clinicians and patients' experience. We set up Visionable because we had a, a vision uh, for the way healthcare should be provided around the world, basically. We, we think that healthcare should be available to everyone, everywhere, and we have the technology that can make that possible. So that's why we set it up. I guess our mission is to, what I call, reverse the inverse care law, which states that those people in need of health and social care the most tend to get it the least. And, and that for us is about equity and access, and, and digital should be helping solve those problems. And we believe that we can solve those problems internationally. When we were looking at the stroke pathway, we realised that there was a huge section we hadn't addressed in our planning, and that was the rehabilitation element of the pathway. And we saw that CMU were leading the way in this space. So we reached out to CMU, and Jenny and Amelia came to the Visionable offices. And what became really apparent was, this wasn't just rehabilitation, this was rebuilding lives. I come from a patient-focused background, and when we, we were listening to Jenny and Amelia as two patients representing a, a group of patients, we hadn't appreciated just how much this element is neglected. It is estimated one in three people will develop a brain injury during their life. More than 135 million globally are living with the consequences of acquired brain injury. In ageing populations, the number of people living with brain injury is set to double by 2035. What really excites me about coming together with CMU is that we share the same values, the same vision for health and social care and that for me is so important um, in any partnership, but particularly in, in this one, that's, that's great. The second reason is that they've got such an in-depth knowledge of brain injury and, and brain injury survivors and recovery and that for us is so important because brain injury and ischemic attack and stroke is one of our key areas. We know that we can deliver better services that save lives and help people recover. So a partnership with CMU is absolutely important to us. 
And the third reason is that they've got such, CMU has just such a fantastic network of contacts, both in terms of patients and, and citizens that are in recovery and are recovering and people who've survived, and also in the specialist clinical networks internationally. And that matches our specialism and our expertise. And that way we can build a platform that can really move the needle for people who have brain injury, covering survived brain injury all over the world.